This Kelloland Living segment is sponsored by Willikers. Stop by their liquor superstore in Sioux Falls, South Dakota today to browse endless aisles and a walk-in beer cooler of everything liquid and delicious. Willikers' selection is intoxicating. When you get together with friends or family on the weekend, it's nice to unwind with a beer, a beverage, or even a bottle of wine. But most of us aren't mixologists, and we usually don't have a recipe box filled with the directions to create cocktail concoctions. That's where our friends at Willikers can come in pretty handy. Not only do they carry more than 8,000 varieties of wine, spirits, and beer in their 26,000 square foot superstore, but as I found out on a recent visit there, they've also got the knowledge to make sure you're served right. It's time for a weekend warm up with Willikers. Tracy, thanks for having me out here to Willikers. I am thirsty standing here and I've got big eyes. Yeah. Well, I mean, while you look around, we have tons of wine here. So while you're looking for your wine, you can grab a glass of wine while you shop, find some cheese to go with your wine. We've got charcuterie boards from Cultivated Love. We've got just about anything you need for wine. Really a lot more than you might expect have you, if you've never been in here before. Just in the wine section alone, I'm seeing some of my favorites, but a lot I've never tried before. So you pretty much have every kind of wine we could want. Yeah, we should cover all the basics for sure. Uh, obviously we have a ton of room, so we got to fill it with something. And the way that we see it, the more variety, the better. So if we can find it and it's available in the state, we'll bring it in. And the wine tasting, I think that's a little bit of a hidden gem. I often come in, go right for the bourbon aisle, and then I leave. But you can actually do some tastings here and get wine by the glass. Yep. Every Friday and Saturday, we do kind of a scheduled tasting. Jeremy will be back at the wine kiosk, usually from 12 to 6. But uh, we also do walk-around wine while you shop, which is something that not a lot of people take advantage of. And it's kind of neat to be able to take some time, enjoy a glass of wine, and do some shopping. The next time I'm trying to pick out that perfect bourbon, I'm just going to start with a glass of wine while I'm doing it. Yep. And I spy something over there that's a really nice looking wine area. I think you've got some really premium products in there too. Yeah, that's our wine room. Uh, it's a new addition here. We just got that in probably a month and a half ago. Basically, we wanted to give a focal point to some of our more premium bottles. So this gives it more of a focal point. It's a very nice presentation. Adds a nice piece of uh, ambiance to the store, I guess. And you mentioned Cultivate with Love and Cheese, but I think it's really cool that you have accumulated a variety of food products that are usually locally based, or things we know and love, and people we know and love that are producing them. Yeah, we try and do as much as we can with local. So we have Dimmick, we have uh, Inca Salsa, work with Breadsmith. So any local connection, we're always going to explore that first. Kind of something for everybody. I am envisioning my holiday parties that are coming up and having to stop and get a bottle of wine, grab a little hostess gift because you've got so many things around here and even pick up a little appetizer on my way and I'm the perfect party guest. Yeah, we even have sweaters and t-shirts and stuff like that. There's all, all kinds of fun stuff. Now, if I find some higher, some premium wines and I want to taste them, do you have a way for those wines to be tasted? We too? do have a few open that uh, he does a Corvin pour for back at the wine kiosk. So you just have to ask as long as one of us are here to do that. We're happy to do it. Usually have about 12 to 15 different things that are in that 100 to $300 bottle usually. And for people that maybe don't know that much about wine, you've got a lot of experienced people here that can help walk you around and show you things in your price point that you yep. might want to try. Yep. It's always a work in progress, but we definitely have some very knowledgeable people on hand as well. And if you don't find the right person right away, we all have earpieces, so you're just a question away. So. so we've got the wine area, wine tasting, wine by the glass, but you also have a beer area and a way to taste a lot of the bourbons because you've got an amazing bourbon selection. So yep. let's head over there and check it out. Sounds good. Now we're here in the beer kiosk. Mm, yep. More than just beer for the tasting back here though. Yeah, we kind of made it into a tasting station as well. So if you want to come and shop like we were talking about with the wine, you can also do that with a glass of delicious beer. Yep, we have 10 beers on tap at all times. So any one of those we can pour, price is always on the board. You can do growler fills with that as well, but most of what we go through is by the glass while you shop. Now let's talk a little bit about the bourbon because that's one of your featured mm -hmm. sections here. And I yep. know a lot of people that come here for bourbons because you have so many unique kinds. Tell me about the variety that you have that are actually the barrels that you get. Yeah, so we go all over the place to do barrel picks. Uh, we'll go to Kentucky, we'll go to Tennessee, Minnesota, 
We'll try and get out to Colorado here at some point, California. Um, basically, anywhere we can go to find something unique and different, we'll go there and try and get a barrel to bring back. And if you're shopping for some of those and you aren't sure what you want because it's something you've never had before, a lot of those barrels are things you have back here that people can actually get a little taste of before they buy. Yep. Any of our single barrels or store picks, we always have those open. I don't want to send anybody out the door with something with our name on it that they're not going to like. So you've got two examples here that we're looking at. So talk, talk to me about this one a little bit. So this is our newest Knob Creek barrel. We call it Woo 2. So uh, back sto story to that, I guess. Uh, the last one that we did when we tasted it was super boozy. So all we got out of the samples were is alcohol, but we wanted the barrel, so we just took it and we called it Woo because it went <laughs> Woo every time we drank it. <laughs> yep. So this time we picked this one out when we were in Kentucky, and I don't know if we just had a lack of creativity or what it was, but and Woo 2 sounded funny, so we called it that. Um, took quite a while to get it, but it's a delicious bourbon. Okay, so let's can I taste it. Yeah. The cheers. Should I do the woo? No, that's actually really good. Mm -hmm. It's bright. I feel like it's kind of bright but smooth at the same time. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's got like the nose is super interesting. If you smell it, it's got a ton of coconut and dill, which is kind of classic characteristics for American oak. I've never really gotten that that strong out of a whiskey before, but this one, it really stands out. I didn't, I didn't feel the deal until you said it, but you're right. Now, tell me about this one, because this is another really interesting um, brand that you're carrying. Yeah, so this is a new uh, project up in Minneapolis, actually. So it's Keeper's Heart. They have as much knowledge as you could ever get for a new starting up whiskey. They have the master distiller from Jameson. Absolutely amazing place. I love how much local flavor you bring, even Minneapolis, to bring people things that they maybe never have had before, mm -hmm. but are going to love and have such a Midwest feel to it. Yep. You have a lot of other spirits too, pretty much anything I could ever want, including some of those maybe lesser known cordials. Yeah, we go and seek anything out that we can find. If it's something somebody asked for and we can get it, we'll bring it in. For the most part, we already have everything that's available, but um, we're always willing to ask a question and go looking for something we might be missing. Let's talk about your cigars. Mm -hmm. You also have cig cigars and you have a, uh, I don't know, is it a humidor is it yep. called? Yeah, uh, walk-in humidor. Really cool back there. Yeah, it's nice. It's inviting, it's warm, obviously, yeah. but not too warm. You don't feel disgusting when you walk in there. You're not sweating unless you're in there for a long time. But uh, it's nice, it's neatly organized. We have a ton of different varieties in there. There's some uh, more popular whiskey brands that have cigars that go along with them now. So uh, kind of ties everything together. Ties everything together. This is a one-stop shop for stocking your bar, having a party, doing anything you can need to do with every type of, of liquor, alcohol, the cigars, the food, you've got everything. Yep. So cheers to that because I have to actually finish this so I can try this one. But thank you so much for having me out here today. It's been yeah. so much fun. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Willikers is Sioux Falls' largest liquor shop. It's honestly unlike anything you've ever seen before, so stop and see it for yourself. They're located at 3525 West of Vera Drive in Sioux Falls. And you can find their specials and selections on their website at willikers.com. They're open seven days a week and curbside service is available. Whatever you're looking for, they can help you start your weekend warm up at Willikers. This Kelloland Living segment has been sponsored by Willikers. Stop by their liquor superstore in Sioux Falls, South Dakota today to browse endless aisles and a walk-in beer cooler of everything liquid and delicious. Willikers selection is intoxicating. <laughs>